Welcome back. Coming up on 644, some good news for drivers. Your daily commute might have gotten a little easier now that you can reach Hardeman Avenue from Gray Highway once again. This morning for how Briar found out what updates that GDOT has for you with a new deadline in sight. If you're driving onto I-16 from Spring Street and Gray and Emory Highways, the only access point goes west. The newly paved ramp leads you to I-75 north and south. The I-16, I-75 split. So right now, construction is currently 66% complete. Now, when you drive onto 75 south from there, you can access Hardeman Avenue. But if you're driving west on I-16, you still cannot access Hardeman. However, GDOT expects Phase 4 and 5 of the project to finish in winter of 2025. Basically, we started this whole entire project because of um, better mobility for the trucks traveling up through the Savannah area from the ports to come through Macon, which is a major growing metropolitan area of our state. By the end of this year, GDOT expects phase two and three to complete. On the I-16 eastbound and westbound, over Spring Street, over 2nd Street, and the MLK slash Coliseum and major construction there. That's the interchange from 75 North onto I-16. And Gina Snyder from the Department of Transportation says that part of the project's about 98% done. The contractor um, basically has been working on the lighting on the Hardeman Avenue, looking forward here, currently obviously performing guardrail installation, like I said, permanent striking, litter pickup, vegetation removal throughout the project area. So we're expecting to be done by the end of this year for phase two and three. Reporting in Macon, Fadi Halper, 13 WMAZ News. Good to see the progress. Final touches on the project are in the works now. GDOT says you still need to be careful on the roads because construction workers are out there at various hours of the day and night across the state.